You got up at six fifteen to do your workout? I was there at six fifteen. So I got up about five thirty and went and worked out. And I thought the warm up was part of the workout. So anybody that really knows me knows I don't like exercise or working out. But I made it and I still did the stairs up here this morning. Good for you. There you go. So just wanna figure out eating now. Baby steps. Good, good. We wanted to make it compelling, make it easy for your buyer to say yes. A homemade sausage. Special recipe. Oh, homemade? Chef Stephanie. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Wolfgang Puck, eat your heart out. Yeah. My kids know me well. I make, uh, I make really good reservations. <laughs> <laughs> So what is, what's one thing you can't go to a showing without? I cannot go to a showing without, of course, my purse and my cell phone. And then I also like to take a bunch of granola bars <laughs> because if we're out showing and we are looking at properties for, gosh, six or seven hours, everybody needs a snack. I went on a showing and I walked into the unit, um, turning on all the lights and out of the corner of my eye, I see a person, which I get a little nervous, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, I walk, she never said anything, so I walk back around the corner, and here it is, a cardboard cutout of Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Once the new owner bought the place, and she had forgotten about the cardboard cutout, so she takes her dog in for the first time, and he just, lost it started barking he was you know growling at her and she's like oh I forgot Marilyn Marilyn Monroe was here almost for some reason I want to say Manson Marilyn Manson scared you. This is my this is my first jug, so I'm working on hydrating today. <laughs> I am working on coming soon, um, and so that will get the listings ready for them to go on Zillow and Facebook, um, and that will allow everybody to see them before they go active on the MLS. In this competitive market, a lot of people are trying to get an edge on the competition, and we have a great way of doing that. We have a coming soon program, and we put it on Facebook, all of our properties, before we actually let them hit the MLS. Maybe there's some things that need to happen, carpet cleaning, or maybe they're getting staged. We will pre-market them on Facebook, and it's our coming soon program. It's awesome. So if you're looking for a property and you want to know what's coming up, check it out on Facebook. We found that having a pre-marketing campaign is helpful for our sellers and it's helpful for the buyers. The sellers are going ahead and getting some exposure to the market before they actually hit the MLS. So they have a little time to get some things done like power washing or staging and they're getting it out there. People are knowing that the property is coming up for sale. And for those savvy buyers, the ones that know ahead of time, they can you know, go ahead and know what's coming up and be prepared because we want our buyers to compete and win when they're offering um, on a property and it's a great idea to know what's coming up. How many books you got in there, Greg? Yeah, probably about 12. 
Just some light reading. Oh, you got more in there. So we've got a meeting with Sam and Wendy. They're moving to Columbia. They've already purchased a house there on a lake somewhere. I can't remember which one. And they've got three properties in the same neighborhood in Brandy Mill here in Sakisti. And, uh, oh, do you know how Google pronounces Sakisti when you're following the Google Maps? It's Sakasti. It's Sakasti, which I, I'm going to start calling it Sakasti. But uh, they're selling, we've got, they've got a vacant lot, which we've already got under contract. We listed that and sold it. And they've got two houses to sell. What's interesting is we've had, we got them connected with um, Caring Transitions, which is a, a company we use often that helps clear out properties, help people get organized to move. They can manage estate sales um, or just get rid of things if it needs to go to the dump or distribute it to a Goodwill or whatnot. So they had a lot of stuff and so that's already been happening and we already have a move date to Columbia in late May. So we, we're, we're off and running. A lot of my clients might need a week, might need a month before they're ready to hit the market live. And so we take advantage of that time by pre-marketing the home, a coming soon campaign on Zillow, plus we're marketing it to our team, our staff, our database. So there's an advantage to the seller and the buyer. The advantage of the buyer, when they can, when they can look at a coming soon, is they're not competing with the market yet. Um, so if you're a buyer and you've got a house that's not officially on the MLS and it's a, it's a good property, what we're noticing is these buyers that are looking at our coming soons, the, the conversion ratios are off the charts because they recognize that they don't have, they, they better buy it now if they like it because it's not even on the market yet. And they realize this sense of urgency is heightened. Really excited about these two new listings in Brandy Mill. They're coming soon. So check them out on our Facebook site uh, before Zillow. We've got them on Facebook coming soon before they hit Zillow. But of course, check them out on Zillow as well. And uh, we're excited about them. We got one with an in-law suite and then a regular beautiful home in Brandy Mill. Talk to you soon.